Hey boo, what's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan. And if you didn't know, I went to the Bahamas for the weekend and I want to tell you about my experience eating a raw vegan diet. Now, I went to celebrate my best friend's birthday. She just turned 39. She's born exactly 28 days before me, so she thinks she's smarter and whatever. Uh, But um, yeah, so for 28, 48 hours I was in the Bahamas and I want to tell you what happened. First of all, this was my first time flying internationally ever. I know I'm almost 39. I've never left the country until now. So I'm really grateful to her uh, for taking me to the Bahamas for her birthday. And um, basically what happened was I didn't know what to expect because I googled can you bring fruit into the country because you know I didn't know if we were going to be able to stop and buy fruit. I didn't want to make it about me because it's not a trip for me. It was a trip for her and she is not raw by far. She don't like fruit. Um, And so long story short is that I googled it and it said that I was not able to bring fruit but like I did it anyway. So I because that's just what I do and if they want me to throw it away then I'll throw it away. But here's what I did. I packed a big thing of watermelon. I cut up a half of a watermelon No, the whole watermelon. I cut up a whole entire watermelon. I put it in a giant Tupperware. Then I washed like four or five apples. I bought a whole big bag of mandarins. I had a big box of greens and something else. Cucumbers. Yeah. And a lot of cucumbers. Okay. So I packed a big, big bag. That's always my carry on. And then I have a little small um, like fanny pack where I put my passport and my money and stuff like that. So my big bag... I packed a big bag for my on my shoulders of fruit and vegetables and they didn't say a word. They didn't care. I brought those on the plane. I always do, but I brought those to the Bahamas. No problems at all. No problems at all. Okay, so I just want you to know you can absolutely bring fruit to the Bahamas. That's number one. Number two, when we got there. So as soon as we got there, I said, okay, listen, let me just take care of me. And then the rest of the weekend, we'll be eating out at restaurants and stuff. So we stopped, even though I had, you know, some fruit, I had eaten some of it because we left at three in the morning. (laughs) I know we left at three in the morning. We got to the Bahamas at six something. Um, and, um, I had like, I had eaten the oranges and I think uh, the watermelon for sure. Okay. I don't know why I'm hungry at three in the morning, but okay. That's what I ate on the plane and waiting for customs and all that stuff. So when we got there, we stopped at a supermarket right away. Um, I bought a bunch of pineapples, like four or five pineapples. I bought cucumbers. I tried to buy grapes, but the truth is, is that stuff is super, super expensive there. I believe it's because everything is imported. Even though they grow their own, they grow their own fruit, but like, I'm not quite sure what is going on there. Um, Where I was, I stayed on Paradise Island. Um, They don't grow any fruit there, apparently, even though it's super tropical weather. Um, But everything was crazy expensive. Like, I showed you guys, I did post the video of the first store that I stopped at where there was like a taxi outside waiting for me. The pineapples were only $5 each, but I went to another store where they were $12 each for each pineapple. I tried to buy a small bag of grapes. It was $38. So I didn't do that because I haven't won the lottery yet. Um, I bought a gallon of water. I bought a gallon of spring water. It was $12.99. I couldn't believe it, but I needed water. That's the only thing. You can't bring water on a plane, even though I could have... Now I know for the future, if I go back to the Bahamas, I'll freeze water and bring it because you can bring frozen water on a plane, but you can't bring liquid water. It's so dumb. So anyway, okay, let me focus. So we got there, I landed and I bought a bunch of water and I bought pineapples and I bought, um, you know, I posted the video and more cucumbers because cucumbers are great because they're like super easy to eat and they keep you hydrated. And I just love snacking on cucumbers especially because I knew I wasn't going to be able to really eat much of a salad. And I what, there wasn't a way to make salad dressing. So I was just going to basically eat cucumbers, avocado, lemon, lime, and a salad with tomatoes. You know, basic. Keep it basic. So that's what I did. I shopped as soon as I landed. We got to the Airbnb. 
we had to wait a little bit. And then, so we went out to eat. Awa ate breakfast. I think she had a croissant or something. And then we got back to the Airbnb and I saw that she had a blender. And I was like, oh my God, I wish I would have known this. I would have bought bananas and stuff. But um, I didn't know. So anyway, so that's that. And then that that food lasted me the whole day. And what I do is my roommate loves to go to restaurants. And so I always eat on the way to the restaurant. And then I ordered a sa- salad. There's always salads at every restaurant. But as we know, the salads suck. So what I like to personally do is I like to bring my own add-ons. Okay, so cucumbers, tomatoes, avocado, and even lettuce. Lately in restaurants, like during the Bahamas, we went to like six restaurants, right? I always ordered a salad, um, but I actually ordered two or three salads, okay, all together. And I asked them to put it together because one little baby salad is a joke. Even two sometimes was too little. So I ordered two or three, and yes, this gets pricey. So it was quite expensive to be raw in the Bahamas, but honestly, it was going to be expensive whether I was raw or not, okay? Um, It's just really expensive to buy food there. The cost of living in the Bahamas is crazy expensive. I mean, sumo oranges were $6.99 a pound. Dates were $17 for a little box of dates. Uh, Avocados, they were, I got four for 12. I mean, that's not too bad, but that's not good. A box of lettuce, a box of organic lettuce was $15 in one store. I think I found it for $12 in another store was so crazy, the prices. So what I did was all weekend, I ate between, you know, I ate oranges and pineapple and everything, honeydew. I got some really good honeydew in the Bahamas. And then when I got to the restaurant, I ordered salad and bottled or sparkling water. I don't really like sparkling, but whatever. Uh, You know, we were on vacation. Um, And so I then ordered my salad. And then when it came, I put my avocado, my tomatoes, my lemon, and my lime. I sprinkled it on. Now, a better solution would be to have made my own dressing. I didn't know there was going to be a blender. So if you're staying at an Airbnb, ask them if there's a blender, and then you can bring your own. You can buy, like, you know, spices, nuts, seeds, whatever. You can bring your own, honestly. And then you can make your own dressings, and you can bring a little container, put your dressing in the container, and that would be a way to make it so amazing in the restaurants when you're on vacation. Obviously, you don't have to do that, and that's a lot of annoying work. So what you can just do is bring your own avocado, lemon, and lime, and call it a day. Because the damn truth is you cannot get any raw vegan restaurants, like any raw vegan dressings at restaurants. And the other thing is, is that they're never, for some reason, they refuse to give you avocado. Like, there was a restaurant that even had avocado on the menu. I asked for some avocado. Like I asked for avocado. They came with the smallest amount. I I filmed it and stuff, so I'm sure I'll post it at some point. They came with the tiniest amount, like maybe two slices cut up. Okay, so then what I did was I asked, at this point, I didn't have any avocados left. It was late on Sunday night. I asked for a whole avocado. I asked if I could buy an avocado. They would not let me buy an avocado. So then I said, can I have some more? They brought over the tiniest amount again. And it's just like, why are these restaurants refusing to serve avocados? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I've never been successful at getting enough avocado at a restaurant to make the salad good ever, ever. Has anybody? Maybe at a vegan restaurant, but definitely not in the Bahamas. So we also found, I just want to say, we found this all-you-can-eat buffet. It's called Poseidon's Table in the Atlantis Resort on Paradise Island. But I just want you to know that it was going to be $90. And we almost did it. It was going to be $90 a plate. We almost did it. But the problem is that I looked around the restaurant and I think I posted that restaurant. Okay. I looked around the restaurant And I saw they had lots of fruit and vegetables, but I thought to myself, like, first of all, the fruit and vegetables, the fruit is probably not even ripe. Like they had honeydew, cantaloupe, and pineapple. I saw the pineapple wasn't ripe. I was pretty sure the honeydew and the cantaloupe were not going to be ripe either. And I was like, you know what? I don't know if I want to spend $90 on unripe fucking fruit. So we went to another restaurant. I got a stupid salad. It was boring and nothing and crappy. 
and called it a day. And to be honest, the damn truth is, is that I loved the Bahamas. It was amazing. But for my birthday, like for me, I won't be back because it was gorgeous and amazing. And I appreciated every second of it. I loved it. I'm so happy I went, but it was not a place for a fruitarian, to be honest. The prices were insane. I couldn't find any local fruit. And if somebody knows a downtown Nassau or Paradise Island where I could find local fruit, there was literally not one fruit store on the island that I was on. We had to take a cab. We had to go to Paradise to um, Nassau, downtown Nassau. And we found an amazing place, which is like their Whole Foods. It's called Fresh Market. But there was no fruit and vegetables on the entire island where I was staying. No joke. There was not one grocery store. I know. So I just want you guys to know that. Sorry, my foot is like asleep now. <laughs> I was sitting on my foot and now it's fallen asleep. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> that is my review of the Bahamas Raw Vegan Life. Now, was it easy? No. No. Was it possible? Yes. It's always possible. Was it like super enjoyable? No. And did I eat amazing? No. No, I did not. Because the avocados that I bought were actually crappy. Um, the pineapples were really, really good. The honeydew was good, but that's it. That's it. I couldn't find any other fruit that was ripe and that was like even kind of like remotely affordable. I didn't buy the grapes. They didn't even look good. They don't have a lot of organic there. They didn't have any organic fruit. They did have some organic vegetable, like lettuce and stuff, but um, the greens that I got weren't even good. The cucumbers weren't good. Um, I'm sure that if it was a trip for me, I could absolutely find. They didn't have a Chinatown there or like an Asian market, but supposedly a lot of fruit grows in the Bahamas. And I asked everyone, every cab driver, every local that I could talk to, like everyone spoke English. And I, every single person that I spoke to, they were like, no, we don't know where that is. Like, we don't know where fruit grows. They didn't know any. Thing, but they knew like where the best seafood restaurant is. It's a big fish town. So there's like a very famous restaurant called the Poop Deck. No joke. The Poop Deck. That's like one of the most famous restaurants and they love it and they eat a lot of fish there. I know soursop grows there. I know um, maybe jackfruit grows there. I was looking at the list of all the things that grow there, but apparently nobody knows where on NASA and Paradise Island. So if you live in the Bahamas or you know where to go, then leave it down below for somebody that might be going. But personally, I won't be back in the Bahamas for me. I will go with friends, um, but I won't be going for me. My dream destination, obviously, is Thailand or, you know, Colombia. My friend is going to Colombia next week. I wish I could go, but I just can't. I just can't swing it. I'm not a world traveler yet. I got to work, guys. But um, I mean, technically I can work from anywhere, but long story short is I'm not going to go. I, I got to stay here and work. I'm really, really busy working on my next book and my course has started and I have to dedicate all of my time and my energy and everything to my clients to making sure they succeed. And um, yeah, but Colombia has mangosteen. It's mangosteen season right now. So fresh mangosteen and lots of other fruits, of course. But um, yeah, I would go somewhere for the fruit more because, you know, I love fruit. And it's like very important for me. Like it's a big part of my enjoyment level. So did I enjoy the Bahamas? Yes. Would I enjoyed it much more if I it was about me and I had, you know, the time and the the a way to find better fruit, yeah, that would be way better. And I'm sure somebody out there knows where I can get fruit. But trust me, I did a lot of research. And on Nassau and Paradise Island, this is what I could find. Pineapples and honeydew. And I'm grateful as always. But um, heads up, heads up. On the way back, I did not have any fruit left. But I just want you guys to know that I did have some greens and some celery. For some reason, I bought celery. I didn't eat it. I don't know why I bought celery. I guess I was just thinking like if I needed it or if I really felt like, I don't know, I really wanted something salty, but I didn't crave anything salty the whole weekend. So I had celery and on the way back from the Bahamas, we went through customs 
in the Bahamas and they asked me if I had any fruit or vegetables or meat in my bag. I said, I have celery and lettuce. They made me take it out. They looked at it. Then they brought me to a room. They brought me in the back to a room with a like police officer and he looked at my celery. He looked at my lettuce. He said, do you have any meat? I was like, no. He's like, mm, okay. He left the room. He talked to somebody else. He came back in the room. And he's like, okay, you're good to go. I said, okay, so I'm allowed to bring vegetables home, but no fruit and no meat. So just a heads up, if I had any fruit on me, it was going to be confiscated. You cannot bring fruit or meat from the Bahamas back to America. Heads up on that. By the way, the flight was 37 minutes from Miami to the Bahamas. I'm just putting that out there if anybody is interested in that. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are someone who is dealing with a food addiction, I want you to know that my course started on Sunday, March 3rd, but it is prep week right now. So everybody has been given instructions. And um, for this entire week, you have to write down everything you've eaten. I give you a list of everything I recommend you eat. I also give you lots of other things you have to do this week. And then we start officially, officially on Sunday, March 10th. I have one spot left. Someone had to cancel because of a family emergency. So I have one spot left. If you are someone who needs to lose weight, if you'd like to clear your skin, if you want to heal naturally from anything, then I would love to help you and have you join the course. I'll leave the information below if you're interested and I will see you in the course if you are a woman struggling with a food addiction, okay? We officially start on March 10th and I would love to have you join us. Thank you very much for watching this video. Give it a thumb, subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode, boo. Bye. Thanks for watching.